intricate tapestry of nature weaves a web of interconnectedness, a symphony orchestrated by unseen hands. Each thread is vital to the whole. Rivers carry sustenance for life, nourishing the earth and all that dwells there. The birds gracing the skies with their celestial dance become messengers, dispersing seeds and pollinating flowers, ensuring the cycle of renewal. In this interconnected dance, a ripple caused by one action resonates through the whole, reminding us that we also are but a thread in this grand tapestry. I was drawn to big waves at a young age. And so I was drawn to that energy and, and that feeling of power and that feeling that seems to penetrate the whole universe is this energy of just power and bigness. It's like looking out the stars at night and realizing how small we are. My dad built a career off being a craftsman, building surfboards from the 1960s. I think I see things through, partially through his eyes, but also kind of creating my own path and, and breaking, you know, breaking the mold. You incorporate hemp cloth and wood, different resins and materials that have a less impact on the earth. The overall goal of sustainability is there and we're far from building a high performance, fully sustainable surfboard, but it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, growing up in Cayucos, you know, I was surrounded by ranchers and farmers. Um, I definitely felt like an outsider, like these people had land, they had access to all the countryside and the, the creeks and the hills that I didn't have access to, you know, so I looked for my adventure in the ocean because no one owned the ocean. So, you know, I could go paddle out into the waves and experience a similar sense of freedom. But also to me, I felt a connection back towards my Hawaiian ancestry. And I always kind of felt like you know, that sea connected me. And my work as an anthropologist has really given me a, a better understanding of these different cultures and how certain people have been stewarding the land for thousands of years. Part of my job is, is to incorporate that native voice into the narrative of local history and in the archaeology, we have this reverence for the past, this reverence for traditional cultures, and that's really what drives my interest and in why I do what I do. Being friends with, with tribal members today and, and working with them, it's really a privilege to see that the stories and the language and so many aspects of this beautiful culture are being perpetuated and continued with one foot in the past of tradition and one foot in the future for stewarding the planet and coming up with modern solutions to you know, modern problems. Holding on to the stories of our ancestors is like a sacred duty, responsibility. It offers guidance, inspires greatness, and ultimately has helped to shape me. I hope I can pass on some of these findings to my kids or at least show them how to ask questions so they can discover things for themselves.